Hello, I'm Tom Varner, and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to check out the remains of the Edwards Trace in Springfield, Illinois. And the marker reads, the Edwards Trace. An important trail in the history of Illinois ran atop this ridge called the Edwards Trace, an early word for trail. Its use reaches back to, back to antiquity, and herds of bison and other large animals travel along its path. For millennia, prehistoric people utilized the trail for seasonal migrations, trading, hunting, and waging war. As early as 1711, French priests and trappers began traveling along its path. This overland route offered an alternative to the waterways. From Kaskaskia in the south, the trace passed up through Cahokia and Edwardsville area, and by this point on its way to the Illinois River near present-day Peoria. During the War of 1812, Territorial Governor Neenan Edwards, who later became the state's third governor, led a contingent of 350 rangers to Peoria along its pathway for action against the Kickapoo. As a result, it became known as the Edwards Trace. For early Illinois inhabitants, this was the main, the main land route between southern Illinois and points north. Along its course came, the, came many of the pioneers who settled the Sagamon Valley. After Illinois became a state in 1818, this road carried heavy traffic north and south, including a variety of goods and commodities. As a result, as a result, depressed path de as a result, a depressed path developed, a remnant of which can be seen 25 yards west of this marker. And this marker was erected in 2002. See there, it's a map, the trail. Went from the Cahokia Edwardsville area with a possible junction of another connecting terrain, Kaskaskia, and went all the way north up to Peoria. Try to get some different angles and whatnot, but right here, this spot right here kind of lining up with that tree with the bush on it There's the remains of the Edwards Trace you can see kind of the indention and it lines up almost perfectly with that tree with the bush on it Now we don't think about it very often, but in this pathway that I'm walking right now, all the Native Americans that followed it, the bison, probably even, maybe even woolly mammoths or something from way back, followed this path. We walked along these steps. Years later, wagons and horses. Kind of puts you in your place. Here's a look at the trace from the other angle. From back by that tree with the bush around it. Hard to tell in this video, but kind of there where the the markings, the wheel markings, and it's a little. The grass is a little bit drier. That's because 
there's an indentation there. The playgrounds in this park are now open. They've been closed for so long. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. Until next time, that's a wrap.